We're joined now by Michael Brennan, the acting deputy director there at the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. Michael, we appreciate you joining us here on Weather Nation. And we're curious, what are your thoughts this morning on what this storm system is doing? It looks like, according to your forecast, there could be some strengthening throughout the day. Yeah, we're actually seeing that strengthening starting to occur this morning. The data from the uh, the no hurricane hunter aircraft in there show that the pressure is falling. It's down to 992 millibars, so that's down pretty substantially since yesterday. We're also seeing on the satellite imagery here the shower and thunderstorm activity increasing near the center. So we're seeing the coal start to transition into a more tropical uh, you know, uh, structure, and that's going to set the stage for it to go on and strengthen and, and likely become a hurricane uh, before it reaches the coast of Florida. And Michael, can you talk about the pure size of this system? Because the impacts, they're going to be felt through a large portion of the southeast, and that just has to do with the size of this storm. And we just don't want the viewers to get confused thinking, well, it's a large storm. That means it's a Category 5. That's not the case with Nicole. Right, Nicole, it's a big storm. This this is uh, orange on this map here shows the extent of the tropical storm force winds currently extend out as much as like 300 miles away from the center. And those winds are going to arrive into Florida well in advance of the center. You can see the forecast of the center position has it near the east coast of Florida overnight, Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. But those tropical storm force winds are going to start to move on shore overnight tonight and into early Wednesday. So today is really the day to prepare along the east coast of Florida, especially for folks in that hurricane watch area from Broward. County up through Brevard County. We're going to see those winds and those and the rainfall and the conditions start to deteriorate as we go through the day Wednesday. And Michael, I'm curious, you know, it looks like there's going to be all modes when it comes to the threats that we're watching, yeah. but what are some of the biggest threats that there at the National Hurricane Center you all are worried about? Well, we're certainly concerned about storm surge. This is our storm surge uh, peak storm surge forecast everywhere here in the uh, this area from North Palm Beach all the way up to Altamaha Sound, Georgia you can see three to five feet of inundation above ground level. So that's the potential for life threatening storm surge in this area. And we have a storm surge warning in effect for this area as well. So I'm six feet tall. That's the potential for inundation almost up to the top of my head. So folks who live in uh, surge prone areas need to pay attention to any advice they're given by their local officials today. Know if you live in one of those storm surge evacuation zones and be ready to take action if you're asked to do so. And that's what was going to lead into my next question as we're, we're wrapping this up. What do you want people to take away from this this morning as we're talking about it right now? If you live on that eastern side of, say, Georgia and Florida, what should you be doing right now? Today, you should be getting your storm preparations together. Make sure you have your emergency kit. Know if you live in a storm surge evacuation zone. Make sure you have gas in your car. Make sure you have food and water and supplies to get you through several days. Potentially, it could be out of power outages, uh, other issues with mobility and getting around. So again, today is really the day to prepare. Conditions are going to start to deteriorate overnight tonight and into early Wednesday. Michael Brennan there, the acting deputy director at the National Hurricane Center. We appreciate you joining us here on Weather Nation, Michael. Uh, we'll be checking back in with you, of course, throughout the day, and we know it's going to be busy for you, so we'll be checking back in.